Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I'm going to show you how to make these lovely paper stars. They're sort of origami, um, 3D sort of like um, stars, but they are so simple um, and they are lovely. Now these ones here, these three here, I've made from my um, snowflake paper, snowflake backing paper. Um, so they are quite Christmassy. So they are lovely. Um, I popped a little hole in the top so that these can be hung up like that. So up against the wall. This one I've just popped a little bulb pin in there and I think that would make a little nice little tag on somebody's present as well or dingle dangle off something. Um, these ones I have just made from tea and coffee stain paper. Um, now I have sewn around the edges because I think that looks sort of like finishes them off nicely and I think they look really nice but again this one I haven't because you don't have to all right so you just make them up and just pop them on top of each other and I think they look really pretty this one here I've got three stars um, and I popped a little bit of cheesecloth in between just to give it a little bit of texture um, and I think they look so pretty I've added some string to these because I think they look pretty rustic um, so I've got another one here which is a layering of some stars and these ones and this one here I've got a little bulb pin like the little pink one and I think they look lovely little tags but what I've done here I've got them on some string and I'm going, going to uh, make a few more and then what I'm going to do I'm going to make like a little mobile to hang down so I'll have them all at different lengths so they just hang down down, um, down your wall or somewhere like that or a door I think they look so so pretty and um, I don't think you just have to have them for Christmas either I think these ones <clears throat> look quite nice all year round or you can make them for parties um, all sorts once you know how to make them um, they are so simple so I'm going to pop these over to the side now I'm going to use some um, this pattern paper so my camera doesn't go all um, out of focus because it's auto focus and I can't take the auto focus off for some reason so I'm a bit grubby today so what I'm going to do this is a six by six now you can use as long as it's a square use whatever size you like you can use a nice big piece of 12 by 12 um, scrapbook paper if you wanted to so what I'm going to do I'm just going to fold this in half just like that okay now I'm going to take this corner because we want this to line up with this top piece so that just goes up like that along the top so this point is there but don't squash it down just squash the middle bit just like that and then we take this point like this and then we need this to go along the bottom and then just pop a little mark there because we want to find the middle bit so you will find a little cross here now I'm going to mark that because you probably can't see it with a pencil like that and then we take this point to that spot there okay and put your finger on it like that and just fold that line up like that I will do another one in a minute okay so you can watch this and then you can um, do it with me on the next one now this edge here has to go along this one like that now this is the middle of your star so everything sort of has to come to this point here now the bottom piece will come along the edge of this one here so that will fold up and go along the edge of there like that and then what we want to do then is bend those up so turn it over this is the middle so you want to bend that up like that just like that and fold that in okay and then you want to cut from this corner here to about here now this is going to determine the size of your point of your star okay so you can have it as far up as you like all depends on you how you'd like it so I'm going to just sort of like do it like that so obviously the steeper you do it the more pointier your star is going to be so we just open it out and look at that a lovely star so and then we just 
fold them up. The pointy bits here you want it to fold up and these bits you need to go down. So just go along each bit, fold those in, that goes down, that goes in, that one goes down, just like that. Just fold them and then you've got your lovely 3D star. So easy peasy, and it's lovely. So I'm going to show you again. So I've got a nice red piece here. So we just want to fold it in half like that. Okay. Fold that in half. Now this bottom piece here needs to fold up like that. So you want to go fold that up and you just want the middle bit. So just make a little mark there and then bring it back down again. This corner goes down to the bottom and then we need to find the middle so you've got your mark there and then you should have a little cross. So that's where you want to put a little mark on there and then put this corner up to here to touching that little spot and then just fold that piece there. And then this piece here just folds back on itself like that. And then the bottom piece you want to put so it lines up with that piece there. Just like that. And then we want to this bit folded so turn it over and then just fold these two together. Just like that. Like that. And again, oops, a fleck everywhere. Just cut this like that, and it opens up into your lovely star. And then we've got a lovely star. Now, I've wanted to make a star for ages um, because if you don't have a die cut or anything like that, they are not the easiest things to make. So, this is why I've had a look through YouTube and Pinterest. And this is the easiest one that I found to do and the most effective I think because you can make it out of all sorts of different um, pattern papers or not pattern papers so how easy so that's lovely so got a couple here that I've already done now these are just made out of the tea stain paper and I've just inked them okay so I'm not going to sew around these I'm going to leave it um, but again, now is the time to sew. If you want to sew around it, go to your sewing machine and just sew around the edges, okay, before you stick it down. Um, so I've done those ready. Now I'm going to show you how to do the, the middle star. Okay, with my grubby piece of paper. Now all as I've done on this, this is just a little... Um, this one was two by two, two inches by two inches square. That was a four inch square and that was a six inch square okay so i've gone down by two inches and i think that gives it a sort of like a nice um, gap in between now this one what i'm going to do so i've got the silver pen i'm just going to go out like that and just little lines like that i want some of the paper underneath to show now you can always make these with a piece of silver paper or any colour paper that you want to but I think this sort of like gives it like a metally look which was what I was after so I'm just going to go around it like this Oops. okay a bit in the middle now I'm going to dry this because this is obviously going to be wet and it's sort of like a paint so i'm just going to quickly blast it with my heat gun okay so that's just dries it off and then i can go over it with my little finger dobber and the ink i hope you can see this it's a bit grubby this paper but as i go over it it just picks up the paper and darkens the paper underneath so i think it gives it that sort of like old metally type look um, which is what i was after so quick and easy, just like that. And I think that looks really nice. You can go around the edges if you wanted to just ink the edges a little bit. But I think that looks really effective. 
pop that to the side. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick this one onto here. Let's just stick this, make it like that. This can just go on here, just like that. I'm going to use a little bit of 3-in-1 on here. Now again, make them out of anything you like. You can make them out of bits of scrap paper little ditty ones if you've got scrap paper and small bits you can mix little small ones like that make sure it's on there Just make sure you've got your little points matched up stick that down i'm going to stick this one on top of here you can do it with whatever glue whatever glue you want just like this this one on top make sure you've got your little points lined up like that so we are in the middle squash that down make sure it's stuck down nicely like that perfect and then what we want to do is just bend these again like that so they all bend together all the way around just like that and then there we go you've got your beautiful little heart now i'm going to pop the little hole at the top now i've got my little setter here this oops this is really old this i've had for years and years so i'm going to just pop a little hole here just like that. Put one of these on there. Pop it through there and then just push that down. Perfect. And there we go. These would look quite nice actually on all of them, wouldn't they? All of the points. Just to give it a little bit of embellishment. But I think they are lovely. I'm loving these. I do have another little project with these hearts, so I will be doing that video next. Um, so watch out for that one. But I think these are so simple and so lovely to make. Um, so here is my big bundle of them. Like this here. So again, use whatever colour paper you've got. This is one we made here. So we've got the lovely Christmassy red and green one there. Got these lovely, I love them in just the tea stain paper. Um, I think they look really rustic and, and lovely. And again, with a little bit of um, cheesecloth in there, I think it looks really nice as well. So there we go, guys. A little idea for you for these beautiful stars. Um, and again, you can make some lovely little um, tags with them as well which I think are beautiful. And again, if you wanted to send them to somebody or if you wanted to make them for Christmas, they do go flat, just like that. So push it down and then you can stack them up after Christmas and they can just lay down flat and then next year you can just pinch them back up again. So they're very simple to um, pop away for next year. But I think they are lovely. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're all safe and well. Um, please take care of yourselves and I will see you soon. Bye bye.